So, in principle, we have always three sections per year, and uh, we always start in the, at the beginning, means uh, at the beginning of the year, with uh, two parallel solar exhibitions, and uh, always showing then a view on the collection platform, which we installed two years ago, to give a permanent view to our audience on the collection, on highlights of the collections. We are always try to work with those artists who are themselves pushing all the time forward. Not standing still, but taking new challenges and taking new risks in uh, showing new works. And uh, so that's the reason. I mean, they are fantastic. They are great artists. They have a fantastic strategy and they never stand still. So both artists, Tony Osler and uh, both exhibitions are exactly connected to this. Well, Tony Whistler is one of the leading artists of his time. He is one of the persons who actually emancipated the medium film as he brought it away from his, its, its, uh, its flat screen and he actually started to put it on objects, making making video alive and making the objects alive. So a video three-dimensional and making the objects alive. I think that's one of his, his major um, contributions to contemporary art on one hand. But on the other hand, he's one of these persons who has really pushed um, the idea of, uh, of, of media, media as an idea itself within contemporary art and how it changes us, how it has an impact on our own perceptions and on the way that Basically, our brain is working. Yes, I know we've seen it. So, these new works uh, in my exhibition here basically um, come out of kind of look at ontological processes and some of the new technology and uh, research into that kind of the way that thought patterns can be isolated and thoughts can almost be read by functional MRIs and things like that. So for example with iced it's meant to be sort of a memory palace uh, which is based on uh, two psychological traits, one being narcissism, which has a kind of more of an art historical reference, and then the other being the phenomenon of the femme fatale, the uh, ice queen, which uh, sort of interfaces there. And so that's the way it was kind of built around this sort of personification of, of weather you know, and uh, the expansion of uh, psychological state into, uh, into the landscape. So you have a kind of a, a way of reading the work which operates in rhythms of the performances overlapping and one sort of train of thought leading into the next. Uh, I worked several times with him, first in Hanover in 1998 and then in Kunsthaus Bregenz 2009 and now here again and I think he developed his uh, work incredible in a good way and I think this is really the best exhibition we ever did together and the introspection of uh, our psychological background, how he deals with this in a very fluent way, in a very moving and fluent way, is very unique.